Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Stewart Island Shag. Large marine birds that have variable plumage, interesting taxonomy, and are found only in southern New Zealand. I hope you enjoy. Stewart Island Shags are found throughout southern New Zealand, with them also being found around Stewart Island. Their plumage is also highly variable, with there being pied and bronze morphs. Pied morphs have dark heads and white undersides alongside white patches on their otherwise black wings. The bronze morph is entirely brownish-black, with there being a green sheen on the wings and blue sheen on the body. During the breeding season, both morphs develop orange caracals above the base of the bill, alongside purplish facial skin. Birds forage in groups and in water up to 30 metres deep, with them being able to successfully forage in murky water, such as near the inner Otago harbour. They are colonial nesters in both small and large colonies, nesting primarily on rocky cliffs and bluffs. Their diet is mainly seabed-dwelling fish like flounder and bullies, with polycate worms, crabs and shrimps also being taken. Said's diet also varies seasonally, with fish making up more of their diet in spring and less in winter. Their pedestal nests are made of seaweed, sticks and grass, cemented with guano to provide a more solid structure. Some birds also make the habit of stealing materials from Angaza's nests, Colonies can persist for many years, although they are quick to leave them if disturbed. Their breeding seasons and behaviour are not all that well known, although they do vary between years and colonies. Birds are markedly larger the further north they are found, with Stewart Island birds being smaller and the Otago birds larger. Until recently, the term of Stewart Island shrug describes the two populations, although since their initial description in 1845, debate continued as to whether or not they should stay lumped as one species, or split into two separate species or subspecies. Research conducted in 2016 finally resolved the debates through genetic evidence from both museum and subfossil remains that shows that they were distinct. What was found was that there were two separate species, the Fovol Shag, Leucocarbo Stewarti, which lives on both sides of the Fovol Straits between Stewart Island and the South Island, and the Otago Shag, Leucocarbo Chalconotus, which lives further to the east on the South Island. The mitochondrial DNA suggested that Otago Shags were actually more closely related to Chasm Shags, with differences in osteology, morphology, morphometrics and behaviour also being noted to differentiate them although some taxonomists have referred to them as still being conspecific in spite of this evidence. They appear to have diverged when populations were split up by lower sea levels during the Pleistocene, with the Masnotas having some differences. Otago shags are slightly larger than the Folvo birds, with them also having slightly different facial ornamentation during the breeding season. The two birds also breed at different times too, May to September for the Otago birds, and September onwards for the Folvo. Though they differ in appearance only slightly, the two species suffer disproportionately at the hands of people. Settlers arriving in the regions they were found at, including as far north as Marlborough between 1,000 and 700 years ago, wiped out as much as 99% of all the Otago Shug population within 100 years of their arrival, with the resulting genetic bottleneck now meaning they have very little variation. They have since become restricted to the rocky offshore islets of the Otago Peninsula, and have scarcely recovered since that time. About 2,500 of them currently remain. By contrast, in the far south, where few people lived or even reached, the populations of Fovol Shugs were relatively unchanged, with the little hunting pressure they faced meaning that while their population numbers are about the same as their relatives, their increased genetic diversity means that they're in a better place regarding any future possibility of extinction. The split in their classification means that they require differing conservation efforts regarding factors that impact them. Establishing new colonies in parts of their former range regarding the Otago Shugs would help in this, although the genetic problem still remains. Birds are also at risk from fishing interactions, particularly entanglement in set nets, but also being occasionally shot at illegally by fishers. Other threats also include disturbance at nesting colonies, with all the large, successful breeding colonies in Otago either being on islands or protected areas. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the South Island Pied Oyster Catcher, the most abundant of their group in the country, with them also being found on most estuaries. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.